Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Valley of Doom. It is opening night. It's been a long time in coming, but tonight our Young Harris Mountain Lions, our women's squad, coached by Matt Steersman, taking on the Lee University Flames. Our men are on the road. We'll talk about that a little as we go, but right now we're getting ready for the playing of our national anthem. Tommy Jenkins and John C. Moon, glad to be with you here on YHCAthletics.com and Channel 99 Ridgeline TV. And now for the playing of our national anthem. Wonderful job, as always, by our fine pep band, Purple Rain. Now let's get some names to some new faces. Lee University, out of Cleveland, Tennessee, 5'7", freshman out of Maryville, Tennessee. Number double zero, Lindsey Roddy, at guard, 5'9", freshman from Kingston, Tennessee. Number 11, Abby Bertram. At guard, 5'11", junior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Number 12, Aaron Walsh. At forward, 6'3", junior from Ranger, Georgia. Number 52, Kerry Cheeks. At forward, 5'10", junior from Kingston, Tennessee. Number 33, Haley Cornelson. Flames are coached by Marty Rowe, assisted by Jan Spangler, Holly Lowe, and Kelly Kaiser. Volunteer assistant Jeff Steve and student assistant Tiffany Hudson. And now for your Young Harris College Mountain Lions. Sophomore from Stockholm, Sweden, number three. Sarah Jorgensen. Starting at guard, 5'6", senior, from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number 11, Bria Ratliff. At center, 6 feet 3, out of West Palm Beach, Florida, number 42, Jenny Burnett. At forward, 5'11", senior from Johns Creek, Georgia. Number 23, Meredith Tarver, a leading scorer from last year. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 35. Jada Williams. Mountain Lions coached by Matt Steersman, assisted by Peyton Robertson, student assistant. Jana Carpenter. 
Young Harris some new faces, some faces gone. And we'll go through the night uh, and we'll sort all of that out for you. But right now, it's time to play basketball. Young Harris, our ladies have had several scrimmages. Beat Division I Western Carolina this past Friday up in Cullowhee. Played Eastern Kentucky, uh, who is one of the favorites in the Ohio Valley Conference, a Division I school. Played them very, very close. Ran into a bus all out in Western Kentucky, but that's a perennial NCAA team. So, Tarver jumping center for the Mountain Lions. She'll control. This is Ratliff with the ball. Lee in a man. Ratliff transfer out of South Carolina State University. Three ball in the corner, no good. Burnett with the board, kicks back out to Jorgensen. She'll spot up three ball in and out. Strong rebound by Cheeks. Young Harris lost to Lee last year. This is a good quality team. Skip over, left side. Baseline drive, no good. Tarver with the board, quick out to Ratliff. She'll push the right side of the floor. She'll keep it right, find Jorgensen, who will step back, shoot the jumper, and it's good. Young Harris on the board first. Great crowd here tonight. Student section out. Good, good student section I've seen on opening day in a while. Two zip, Young Harris leads. We'll get in the man. Quick hands by Tarver. Nearly slaps it away from Walsh. She'll shovel right side, kick out. This is Cornelius and driving on Williams. Off the glass, no good. Jada with the board. Kick out right side, Jorgensen. Sarah will work the right side. Up top, Tarver puts it on the floor to the glass. Can't get it down. Burnett fighting with the board. She'll control. They're going to call it a jump. Quick whistle. And alternate possession there will point. Flames way. 8.41 to go in the first quarter. We're, we're up 2-0. Ratliff pick up the ball at half court, bringing it up for the point. Abby Bertram, freshman out of Kingston, Tennessee. This is Corneliuson working right side. Good big feed down the side, and they're going to get Burnett. Going to call it on Jorgensen. Nice cut that time, running the diagonal. Good feed, and will foul. And this will put big carry cheeks. 6'3", junior out of Ranger, Georgia. Where is Ranger, Georgia? John C. Moon. I have no idea what tells me that I knew that answer was coming. Sonoraville High School, that's over in Gordon County, over near Calhoun, not very far from here. First free throw is good, second with no good. Burnett with the board, kick out Ratliff, right side. Ratliff will work, gives the ball to Jorgensen, coming up top, putting the ball on the floor. Feeds inside to Burnett, she loses a handle. Jorgensen steals it back, nice feed into Williamson. She's hammered by Walsh, no call, but it's last touch by the Flames. It'll be Young Harris ball underneath. 8.07 to go in the first quarter. Young Harris leads 2-1. Right lift to inbound. Flames and a man, Ratliff having trouble, finds Jorgensen, she'll shoot the three ball, in and out, long rebound comes out to Roddy. Freshman out of Maryville, Tennessee, this young squad, two freshmen in the starting lineup. Roddy will work on Jorgensen, off the glass, good. Lee has their first lead, 3-2. 7.51 to go in the first quarter. One game tonight, our men are on the road. I believe we're going to get a foul. Foul's on Roddy. It's a blocking foul. Ratliff gives to Jorgensen. Back to Burnett up top. Puts it on the floor. Cross over in the lane off the glass. No good. Fight for the board. Control by Lee. Lee will work the top. Stolen away by Williams. Jada going the length of the floor with the right hand. Oh, I wish they would use the left hand. Can't get the layup down. Back comes Lee in transition. Going to get a foul on the floor. I believe they're going to get Tarver. Foul. 
First substitution, it is on Tarver, her first. Second on team. Veteran Brianna Bell will check in for Jada Williams. Inbound. Stolen away, this is Ratliff in transition, right side, draws the contact, puts the shot up. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Nice hard push by the transfer, the senior, out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Second team foul, Ratliff at the line to shoot two. Young Harris trailing by one. First stroke by the senior is good. Her first official Young Harris College point. Second free throw coming. Out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma knocks them both down. And Mountain Lions lead by one. Long, who's just checked in, will run the point, get the ball to the top of the key, dribble penetration, kick out, baseline jumper, leaves it short. Tarver with the board. Out to Ratliff, Tarver up top, she'll drive, nice, strong take. Knocks the shot down, and it's a 6-3 Young Harris lead. Tarver, our leading scorer last year. Nice right hand, no good. Right side, this is Walsh. Step back three is money, and we're tied at six. 6.19 to go in the first quarter. Tied at six. Ratliff will walk it down. Picked up by Long. And we're going to get an offensive on Young Harris. As big Shelby Brown, a lot of size on this Lee squad. Shelby Brown, 6'2 junior out of Goodlitz, Tennessee checks in. Substitution for Young Harris. This is a sophomore out of Trenton, Georgia, Dade County High School. Sarah Reed, Sarah 6'1", but one of the better perimeter shooters on this club. Last played at Wallace State Community College. Her brother, Andrew Reed, played for the Mountain Lions for Coach Pete Herman. I would estimate about three, maybe four years ago. Off the dribble, nice take by Aaron Walsh. Lee Reed takes the lead, 8-6. Daisha Brown, outstanding freshman. All-Stater, 5A, she gives up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen misses. Corneliuson with a rebound. She'll bring it down against Brown. Brown played, at, I believe it's Sprayberry High School. Let me double check that. Great job defensively, Young Harris. She did, Brown a 5'10 freshman out of Marietta, Sprayberry High School, 8'6. Lee leads, we're in the first quarter. Good crowd on hand. Got homecoming coming up this Saturday. I'm sure we'll talk about that as we go. Brown up top, coming off the screen, pick and roll with Reed. Loses the handle, Reed comes out with it. Dangerous pass out to Bell, she puts it on the floor. Back to Brown, she'll set up up top. Gotta watch the clock, Ratliff. Kick out to Brown, you gotta go. Jumper is good. <coughs> As the shot clock went off, and we're tied at eight. Nice feet inside, left hand. Brown can't get the shot down, kick out three ball. No good, Jorgensen tips it out to Bell. Brianna looking to push on the right side. Now she'll pull up, get back to Jorgensen, work against the man, left side, Brown. Brown puts the ball on the floor, drives the paint off the glass, it's good. And the Mountain Lions lead 10-8. Young Harris, Burnett and Daisha Brown just doing a good job putting the ball on the floor and take it to the hole, great job. Dribble penetration, down inside, really trying to establish inside. Nice job that time by Shelby Brown over Reed. And we're tied at 10, got a good one going here at the Valley of Doom. 
Opening night, big crowd, good to see the students out. Hope they'll stay and continue this. Here's Jorgensen, cross over in the paint, kick out right, left, three ball, no good, rebound, Reed puts it up, gets fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul was on Shelby Brown, and this will put Sarah, good perimeter shooter. Let's see how she is as a free throw shooter. But we got our first time out of the year. 3.48 to go in the first quarter. We're tied at 10. It's a media timeout, the first of two trillion. Mountain Lion Basketball on Ridgeline TV. Back to live action. Reed at the line to shoot two. We're tied at 10, 3.48 to go. Reed in and out and in. She has her first mountain line points and gives Young Harris the lead, 11-10, 3.48 to go in the first quarter. Second free throw coming, no good. Rebound Lee. Young Harris sticking with the man. Megan McQuaid is checked in. Jumper is good from Abby Bertram. Good looking freshman out of Kingston, Tennessee. Tennessee has been for a long time, still is a very, very rich state in terms of women's basketball. Sarah Reed gives Young Harris the lead. It's a back and forth affair. Going to get Megan McQuaid on the foul. Maddie Long putting the ball on the floor. McQuaid fouls her. Sarah Jorgensen and Jenny Burnett will check in. Diaisha Brown and Sarah Reed will both come out. And both young ladies in their first night as a mountain line. Put some points on the board. We're up by one, 13-12. Young hair sticking with this man. On the floor baseline, we shut it off. They'll kick it out over on the left side. Long, she'll work against McQuaid. They're gonna run the pick and roll. Kick out stolen by Tarver, great quick hands. Looking to go coast to coast. Lays it up, can't get it down. Jorgensen tracks down the loose ball. She'll find Burnett. Burnett around to Bell, back to Jorgensen. Sarah puts it on the floor, back to Burnett. She'll shoot the jumper just inside the arc. It's good. And the Mountain Lions lead by three, 15-12. Top of the circle, coming left. Burnett with the defense. Crossover dribble, baseline. Great job protecting the rim. Jenny Burnett, they'll feed into paint, kick out. Three ball, no good. McQuaid with the board. Here comes Tarver. Tarver dribble down, hand off to Bell. Bell puts it on the floor, continuation, draws a foul. Brianna will go the line to shoot two. Minute 51 to go in. The first quarter, Mountain Lions lead 15-12, opening night here at the Valley of Doom. First free throw's good. Ratliff will check in. McQuaid, product out of Hayesville High School, Hayesville, North Carolina, local girl, will come out. Bell at the line for her second. Second free throw's good. And the Young Harris lead is five. That's the biggest lead we've had. <coughs> right side, Walsh feeds inside, no good. 
Cheeks, big junior out of Ranger, Georgia. So Norvell High School on the miss. It'll be Young Harris Ball. Tarver, crossover dribble, drives the paint. Kick out Jorgensen, she'll cross over, trying to feed on the cut to Tarver, nothing there, they defend it well. This is Spell to Meredith, she'll put it on up, left side and she'll draw the contact. Tarver just very good at taking the ball to the hole. So quick off the dribble, very athletic. Long in body, long in arms, jumps extremely well. She has her routine when it comes to free throws. She'll do her same thing every time. She's got it to a science. This is the first, too long, too strong. Second free throw coming, it's good. And the young Harris lead is six, 18-12. Ratliff gonna bring a little pressure. Good work inside by Kerry Cheeks and it's a four point game. We're inside a minute. Ratliff to Jorgensen, to Bell, she'll take it. Can't get it down but Burnett with the rebound, puts it back up, draws the contact. She'll go the line to shoot too. Young Harris doing a good job of getting to the charity stripe tonight. We lead by four, Burnett, senior out of West Palm Beach, Florida. And a transfer from Division I Jacksonville University, the Dolphins. Jenny V knocks her first down, and the Young Harris lead is five. Here comes her second. It is good, and Young Harris lead is six. 2014. This is Walsh, driving, forces the ball inside, inside out action. Walsh, step up, baseline jumper, no good. Bail with the board, quick out to right lift. We're gonna walk it down, shot clock is off. Young Harris will elect to play for one here. Rat left, Tarver up top. She'll drive, kick out to Jorgensen, eight, seven, six. And they're gonna get Sarah Jorgensen with a traveling violation. Walsh comes out, Long comes back in. A lot of freshmen on this. Lee squad, top of the key. They don't get a shot off, well defended by Young Harris. And Young Harris has the lead after one quarter, 2014, we'll take a break. Mountain Lion Basketball, YHCAthletic.com and Channel 99, Ridgeline TV. Young Harris, good offensive output in the first quarter, a back and forth affair that Young Harris pulled out a little lead late. Some good free throw shooting down the stretch. And it will be Young Harris ball. Must not have stats tonight, so I can't tell you nothing. Ratliff, three ball no good, rebound track down by the Flames in transition. Left side in the paint, stolen away nearly by Bell, but they get it back and they're gonna get Brianna for a foul. Nearly had a steal, turned into a foul. 9.30 to go in the second quarter. Young Harris with a 2014 lead. Daisha Brown getting ready to check in. And 
Sarah Jorgensen will come out. Young Harris is quite a bit longer with this lineup. The freshman, Daisha Brown, 5'10". Good job playing the inbound by Meredith Tarver. Slaps the ball out of bounds. Lee will try it again. Young Harris really doing a good job. Now they get open on the three-point line. No good. Tarver skies for the board. Kick out Ratliff. Ratliff right side. Running the paint. Daisha Brown running the baseline. Tarver, great crossover. Gets in the paint. Gets, can't get shot down. <coughs> Fighting for the rebound. She's fouled. Jada Williams will check in. Daisha Brown will check out. Right lift to inbound. Gets the ball to Tarver. Out to right lift. Kick out. Young Harris doing a good job. Three man game. Kick out to Williams. Puts the ball on the floor. Feet inside to Vernette, drop step off the glass, no good. Loose ball on the floor. Jenny Vernette getting down, getting after it. We got a timeout, Young Harris with the lead, 2014 Mountain Line Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Thank you to our game sponsors, Taco Bell, United Community Bank, Cornerstone BP and Deli, and uh, Starbucks. Tommy Jenkins and John C. Moon with you for another year of Young Harris College basketball. How many years has it been now, you know? Seven. He knew that. He didn't have a clue where Ranger, George is, but he knew exactly how long we've been here. Three ball, no good. Brianna Bell, long rebound, comes out to Roddy. She'll push, get the ball in the hands of Cornelius, and she'll work against Bell, puts the ball on the floor, and they're going to get Brianna. That's going to be two on her. Megan McQuaid will check in. Nice inbounds play. They get the ball inside to one of the many big girls, Shelby Brown. One girl, Shelly Shalito, out of Mansfield, England. 6'5", but we've yet to see her in action. Williams with steal. That lift gets across half court. Homecoming this weekend. Looking forward to that. Our ladies will be taking on Lees McCray. 1.30 tip and then at four o'clock Virginia State University. Our men will be in action. Men on the road tonight up in Bristol, Tennessee, taking on King College. Very good school. We've had some good battles with King throughout the year. I believe that's a 7.30 tip. 7.18 to go in the first quarter. Young Harris lead is six. Nice hands that time by Abby Bertram forces the turnover. Here comes Cornelius and off the glass and Young Harris lead has dwindled down to four. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Oh, 
right left to Tarver. Tarver, they give her room. She can't knock the wide open jumper down. In transition, Walsh. Elbow jumper is good from Cornelius. And it's a two point game. Young Harris getting ready to come in with a host of substitutions. Tarver, nice crossover. She can get the paint whenever she chooses. Scores and is fouled. Basket's good. Then Young Harris lead back four. Sarah Reed. Brianna Bell for the first time we're seeing. Tamira Mobley. And Daisha Brown coming back in. Free throw in and out. We don't convert the old fashioned three point play. Near steal by Tarver and a steal by, forced by Jada Williams. Mobley comes out with it. Mobley, 5'6", freshman out of Madison, Florida. Tall on the inbounds pass. Wydenski, freshman out of Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Trying to get the save. Williams throws it too strong. Bertram comes out with the rock. Young Harris. Going to get a foul on the mountain lines. Substitution Lee. Cheeks comes out. Shelby Brown back in. Spinning the lane. Great job defensively by Mobley. Looking for the pick and roll. Young Harris just chooses to let Reed play off of Brown. And it will be Lee Ball in another round of quick substitutions. Off the ball fake, nice penetration by Aaron Walsh. He's gonna get Jenny with the foul. going to be on Vernette. It's her first, team's fifth. One out of two free throws for Walsh, and it's a three-point game. We got a close one here, been close from the get-go. Williams having trouble, puts the ball on the floor, draws the contact. Jada will go to the line to shoot two. Megan McQuaid getting ready to re-enter the contest. Williams short rims the first. Quaid in, Bell checks out. Second free throw is good, and it's a four point. Young Harris lead, 25 21. Good hands by Williams. Jada, great defender. Junior out of Snellville, Georgia. Defense, 
Dribble penetration, left hand, well defended. Jenny Burnett changed the shot. Ratliff came, comes down with the loose ball. Jada jumper, good. That's gravy. Young Harris leads back to six, 27-21. Carver with the steal, breaks up the two-man game. Feeds Burnett, got to go. Jenny back to Tarver. She'll kick out. We'll work around to McQuaid. And they're going to get Young Harris, going to get Burnett in the lane. Three-second violation. Ratliff with steel, goes coast to coast, up and in. And Young Harris has its biggest lead of the night, 21-29-21. Comes four minutes into the second quarter. We got a timeout on the floor, on the leave. Mountain Lion Basketball on YHCAthletic.com. Twenty-nine, twenty-one. Some more action in the Peach Belt tonight. Armstrong State's at Newberry, Chowan at Francis Mary, and Benedict at USC Aiken. Then on Thursday, UNC Pembroke at Fayetteville State. Young Harris, Columbus State, and Georgia College, and Augusta. Only four Peach Belt teams yet to play. Obviously tonight, Young Harris in action. Clayton State's got off to a good start out of conference. They're 2-0. North Georgia's 2-0. 29-21. Biggest young Harris lead. McQuaid, three ball, leaves it short. Long rebound, comes out to Lee in transition. Maddie Long on the floor. Cornelison stole by Tarver. Nice take, can't get it off the glass over net. Fighting for the board, and it's going to be last touch by Jenny. Good hustle. One thing that we really notice in the evolving game of basketball is where so many skills are getting better in a lot of ways. The left hand, the off hand, if you're a right hander, just seems to have disappeared from the face of the earth. It's a dinosaur. Left hand right there, you got two points. Shelby Brown misses from top of the circle. A long rebound comes out to Burnett. Lee Manning up, Tarver, jumper is good. And Mountain Lions have our biggest lead. We're up by 10, 31-21. I want you to understand, we brought a lot of new faces in this year, but it's mostly the crew that we saw last year really come on strong defensively, but they're clicking offensively tonight. Three ball by Lee, cuts the lead to seven. Right left to Burnett, skips over to McQuaid. She's in trouble. Somebody got a break to the ball. She finds Burnett. Jenny scores and is fouled. Posted up, Carrie Cheeks inside, drew the contact. Basket will be good. And Young Harris can get the lead back to 10. 
Free throw's good. Reed checks in, Burnett checks out. We're inside of two minutes. Checking in for 34-24, we scored 20 the first quarter. Long with the basketball. Long will work against Ratliff. And it's gonna be a backcourt violation on the Flames. Be Young Harris Ball, got 95 seconds to build on this double digit lead. Jim Scroggin, sophomore out of Cleveland, Tennessee, will check in for the Flames. Brianna Bell will check in for Megan McQuaid. Tommy Jenkins and John C. Moon with you on our seventh year. Tarver with the rock, strong pass out to Ratliff. Trying to feed Reed inside, one step too many, gonna get her with the offensive. Ratliff with the steal, Burnett going coast to coast. Takes a hard fall, but she'll go the line to shoot too. Young Harris really making things happen off of their defense, get a lot of offense off the defense. We don't have our stats tonight, but we've, we have forced a lot of turnovers, a lot of turnovers. Tarver doing her thing. She can get us up by a dozen. First free throw's good, we're up by 11. McQuaid will come in, Ratliff will check out. Second free throw's good. Leads a dozen. One minute remaining. Boggins. Kicks out right side. Young Harris team defense has been special tonight. Again, good quick hands by Tarver. Nine on the shot clock. Three ball over Reed, drains it. Money shot by Boggins. Had a 6-1 girl in her face and drained the three ball. It's a nine point game. Six second differential in shot clock and game clock. 36-27. Tarver with the ball, she nearly got picked. Out to McQuaid, up top to Williams. Here's Tarver, gonna get a foul away from the ball. Foul's on Tory Lentz, sophomore out of Powell, Tennessee. First free throw, no good. Wholesale substitutions for the Flames. 17.4 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Here comes Jay to second. Knock this one down. It's a 10-point lead. And it's a 10-point mountain line lead. 37-27, 14 seconds. Young Harris in a man, McQuaid is the on ball defender. They'll run a screen off of her, pick and pop, and gonna get Young Harris for a foul. Nope, it's travel, it's travel. It's a travel, Young Harris got three seconds left, to try to get something going. Ratliff gonna check in, McQuaid will check out. Got to hurry, Burnett, runner at the buzzer, no good. Great first half for Young Harris. 
hung 20 points in the first quarter, 17 in the second. We lead by 10. Big night for Jenny, big night for Meredith Tarver. Good coming out for Bria Ratliff. 37-27. We'll take about 15. We'll be back for the second half, Mount Lion Basketball. Channel 99, Ridgeline TV, YHCAthletics.com. Back live, Young Harris leads 37-27. Do have some numbers for you. Young Harris in the first half was 12 of 30 from the field, zero of seven from behind the arc. Young Harris got it done from three point line. That's where the really, the, from the, the free throw line, that's where the lead has been built. We were 13 of 18. Lee shot the ball well, 11 of 24, 45.8%, three of seven from behind the arc, two of four from the charity stripe. So we have a 11 shot, 11 point differential in free throws. Lee turned the ball over eight times. Young Harris turned it over seven. Rebounds were even at 17. I want you to look at the line though on Young Harris is Meredith Tarver, three of five from the field. Four of 10 from the field, three of five from the charity stripe, five rebounds, 11 points, one assist, three steals. Young Harris had 11 steals versus three for lead. Ter uh, Meredith Tarver with three, Jada Williams with three, and Bria Ratliff with three. So Young Harris really forcing offense off of defense. Here's Tarver with a jumper. Picks it right up where she left off. And the young Harris lead is 11. Pretty good crowd. Had a lot of students the first half. Seems like they haven't found their way back in here in the second half, but maybe that'll change. A little different look, half court trap now. We try to feed Reed inside, too strong with the pass. And Young Harris just hold massive substitutions here in the first two minutes. Brianna Bell with the foul. And I think she's getting in a little bit of trouble. Uh, that's two on her. Bria, Bria Ratliff and Tamira Mobley, excuse me. Both picked up two Mobley in just a few moments, minutes of play. Young Harris will have its starting lineup on the floor. Down inside to Burnett. Misses inside. Young Harris up by nine, 40-31. Nice work on the boards for Lee for Carrie Cheeks, and Lee has cut this to seven. Williams drives, kicks out to Tarver. Jumper, no good, follows up, gets an old board. Ratliff out to Tarver, thought about the three, puts it on the floor, and they're going to get her for the shuffle of the feet. And it will be flame ball. 
7.33 to go in the third quarter. Young Harris staying with the man. They'll go inside, good inside out movement. Three ball, no good for Roddy. Burnett with the board, quick outlet. Oh, she got Williams wide open down the floor. Didn't have her head up to see it. Williams puts it on the floor, jumper, no good. Burnett, she gets after every ball. Inside and gonna get a foul on Jenny Burnett. And this is gonna put Kerry Cheeks to the line. Junior Allison, Norville High School. Free throws good in this six point game. Both free throws are good and it's a six point, it's a five point young Harris lead. And Coach Steersman going to want to get a timeout. No? Working against this trap. Half court. Odd man front. Brianna Bell going to check in for Jada Williams. Right left to Bell. Now they go with a 2 3 zone. Tarver gets right in the middle of the zone. Nice scoop off the glass. And the mountain line lead is seven. Young Harris sticking with that man. Nice, strong take to the basket by Roddy. And it's back to five. Now Lee will go back to the man. Here's Jorgensen, jumper in the paint. No good, Tarver again. Soar and turns around. Nice little baseline jumper is good. Meredith all over the place. She is active. Vallis on Ratliff, that's her third. So Young Harris in some point, some trouble at the point guard. McQuaid gonna check in. Ratliff will check out and Jorgensen will go to be the point guard now. Jorgensen gets Maddie Long. She'll work. Roddy, and that's gonna be kick ball. Gotta be Young Harris ball, absolutely. 44-37, we lead with 5.27 to go in the third quarter. Tarver, jumper, no good. Burnett battling, but it's controlled by Cheeks. <coughs> this is Maddie Long over Burnett. And they're gonna get Jorgensen with the foul. And that's Sarah's third. So point guard trouble for the mountain lines. We've got a timeout on the floor. Comes at 4.53 to go in the third quarter. Young Harris leads. This is a media timeout, 44-37, mountain line basketball. <laughs> 
44-37. Young Harris is led by as many as 10. That's what it was at halftime. Lee has cut it as low as five here in the third quarter. And right now the lead is seven, 44-37. One of two free throws. Full court pressure now for Lee. First time we've seen this, Williams with the ball. Gets it out to Tarver. We really do not have a true point guard on the floor. Lee knows that. We'll go inside to Burnett. She'll go up with the right hand. No good, strong rebound. Carry Cheeks. Young Harris gonna try to limp through this third quarter. Three ball is good. In this three point game. Young Harris gonna try to get through this without a point guard. That's why they're point guards. Tarver travels. Reed's gonna check in for Burnett, but she's not a point guard. 44-31. Jorgensen on the bench with three. Ratliff on the bench with three. Mobley played just, wow, she didn't play long at all, man. She played one minute. Picked up two fouls. Nice left hand. No good, Bell with the board. And let's see who will assume point guard responsibilities. Bell, nice strong take, nearly got it down for a three point play. She'll go the line to shoot two. Free throws were the difference in the first half. We had an 11 point advantage there. But right now, free throws, not free throws, but fouls is the issue for the Mountain Lions. We got a pack of foul trouble. Bell knocks down the first. Junior out of Stone Mountain. Second free throw, good. And Young Harris leads back to five. Trying to get through the third quarter without having a point guard giving them an opportunity to pick up that fourth foul. They'll go baseline, we'll cut it off. Young Harris ball. Weird exchange of events there. Tarver now, she's gonna be the point. They're gonna go man on her. She's just gonna take it to the hole and gets knocked down, no call. And they'll turn it over on the other end. We catch a break. Crowd got thin after halftime. Tarver coming off a screen, pick and pop. Here's McQuaid working around the bell. Feeding inside to Reed. She gets foul, gets shot off, knocks it down, but it's after the whistle. Into McQuaid, she'll spot up for the three ball. No good, and there, Burnett, uh, there Tarver is again. She is one of the most active players I've ever seen. Constant movement. And they're gonna foul her. Simple matter is, is Haley Corneliuson can't guard her that far away from the basket. Williams will inbound.
Tarver, nice speed into Reed. She gets hacked. No whistle. Nice inbound bail off the glass. Good, well designed inbound play. Bell coming off the high screen up top, just ran a curl, got open underneath, did a good job scoring. They'll get the ball down on the baseline jumper, no good. McQuaid with the rebound. Megan, local girl out of Hayesville, North Carolina, extended playing time. She's given us some good quality minutes. 48-41, Young Harris lead is seven. Men in action tonight against King College up in Bristol. Not sure if it's Virginia or Tennessee. Homecoming Saturday. Our women will take on Lees McCray. Our men will take on Virginia State. Got to watch the shot clock as it expires. No good. Bell with the board gets tied up and she gets hacked. 48-41. We have stabilized. Got the lead back up to seven. And Brianna, normally a good free throw shooter, back at the line to shoot two. First free throw's good. Second free throws, good. And we've got the lead back up to nine. Young Harris sticking in that man. Good quick hands, Jada Williams knocks it out of bounds. Here comes Jorgensen and Daisha Brown. We haven't seen Daisha in a while. Megan McQuaid and Meredith Tarver will check out. Bertram nearly loses a handle. They're going to get Daisha Brown all over with the body. First free throw is good. Here comes the second, it's good likewise. Seven point game. Waditsky back in. Cornelson comes out. Brown left side, Williams back to Brown. And she gets hammered, that being she being Daisha Brown. And she will go to the line to, to shoot two. Burnett back in, her rest was quick. First free throw, no good. Burnett will go in for Jada Williams. This is both free throws. Rebound out to Maddie Long. She's picked up at half court by Jorgensen. Tried to get the pick and roll. Burnett really just did a good job sniffing that out. And they're gonna get a kick ball on Sarah Reed. Minute 10 to go in the third quarter. Mountain line's up seven, 50-43. And I believe we're gonna get a foul on Brianna Bell on the inbound away from the ball. Foul is called 
First free throw is good. Both free throws good, and it's back to five. Half court trap, Jorgensen back to Burnett. Left side, Daisha Brown kicks out to Bell. Drives, loses a handle, trying to feed Ray, uh, Reed in it, an errant pass. Nice backdoor cut, pull up jumper, too strong, but they were the rebound. We do not block out Cheeks, and it's back to a three point game, 50 47. Bell, three ball, all no good. Rebound Cheeks, they can hide tight here with a three ball. Runner is good, and it's a one-point game. And not a good first quarter for the Mountain Lions. 50-49 is your third quarter score. Mountain Lion Basketball, Ridgeline TV. The Young Harris lead is one. We've led by as many as 10. Led by 10 at halftime. We have the ball and Bria Ratcliffe out on the floor. She's joined by Jenny Burnett, Sarah Jorgensen, Meredith Tarver, Brianna Bell. Burnett scores inside. And the Young Harris lead is back to three. Three ball, no good, right left. Skies for the board, down to Bell. She's got to lay up, up and in. Can't get the shot down, it rims out. She goes down hard, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Bell good on the first. And good on the second. Young Harris lead is five. Jorgensen got burned off the screen that time, and it's a three-point game. Jorgensen with the ball. To Bell behind the back, feeds Burnett. She'll kick out Ratliff, three ball, short. Bell fighting for the rebound. Coach Steersman exhorting the troops, get back. Held my breath there, thought Ratliff had picked up her fourth foul. Jumper, and that's going to be a moving screen. Foul on Cheeks. Foul on Cheeks. That's her third. Second team. Burnett loses the handle off the pass, but it was last touched by Lee. 
And it will be Young Harris Ball, right left inbound. Finds Jorgensen in the corner. Sarah put the ball on the floor, drive the paint. Nice speed down to Vernette. Kicks out to Vernett to Tarver. She'll put the ball off the floor, off the glass. No good. Vernett with the board. Turn around in the paint. No good. Good work by Vernett, but well played by Carrie Cheeks. Big time block inside, and they're going to get a foul on Lee. Knocks Meredith Tarver to the floor. Seven thirty-seven to go. Young Harris up by three, fifty-four, fifty-one. Bell will drive the paint, kick out to Ratliff. She'll put the ball on the floor. Kick out in the corner to Jorgensen, back to Burnett. Spins in the lane, up with the right hand, no good. There is Tarver again. Got to be the most active player in the Peach Belt, no doubt about it. She is after every ball. Young Harris sticking in a man, one four look. For the Flames, near still by Tarver. Overload to the left side. Now they'll bring it right. Come to go with the pick and roll. Looking inside off of the pick and roll. And they're going to get Vernette with the foul. Tried to set Cheeks up. Well designed. Foul is on Vernette. Inbound set up for a three ball. This could tie it. No good. And they're going to get Brianna Bell. Didn't have position. Tried to climb the back of Aaron Walsh. And Williams will come in for Bell. Jada brings you great defense. She don't have the range on the jumper that Bell does. Air ball, Williams with the rebound. Young Harris clinging, and I mean clinging to a three-point lead. Nice pass to Vernette, and she turns to her left, scores, and we've got a timeout. 56-51, Mount Lions lead. It's a close one. Mount Lion basketball, Ridgeline TV. Fifty-six twenty-one. We are just hanging on by a thread here. Had some tra foul trouble. We've really gone cold shooting, and we're going to change it up here, and we're going to go to a two-three matchup zone. Give them a different look. Baseline drive, nice feet inside, and they're going to get a foul. They really did a good job getting inside the zone quickly that time. Foul is on Ratliff. That's four on her. So Young Harris starting point guards picked up her fourth foul with 6.08 to go. 
in the ball game. Still a lot of time. Coach Steersman going to put confidence in. They're going to keep her out there. Both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. Tarver right side to Ratliff. She splits the defenders, gets in the paint. Going to be a foul on Lee. Fourth, fourth team foul. Inbound to Jorgensen. She'll pull up in the lane, no good. Hustles and picks up the loose ball. Kicks out to Ratliff, three balls, good. Mountain Lions needed that one. Gets it back up to six, gets us a little bit more breathing room. Jumper is good, just inside the arc. And it's back to five. Burnett, top of the key, pull up jumper, no good. One and done quickly. They outrun us down the floor and they're gonna get Burnett with the foul. It's getting tighter by the second. First free throw, no good. Second free throw's good, they hit one out of two. Three point game. McQuaid who just had checked in, she stays in. Bell will come in for Jada Williams. Sarah Reed also in the game. <coughs> McQuaid, three ball, no good. Dribble and kick, three ball, no good. Jorgensen with the board. she got McQuaid on the left side. She wisely pulls up back to Burnett. Excuse me, to Tarver. Looking to set the pick and roll up with Reed. Kick out to Bell, she'll put it on the floor, loses the handle, has the ball stripped. Burnett getting ready to check back in. Her rest was brief. Back cut, whoa, they play it well. Got. Young Harris has been holding on for dear life for a quarter and a half now. Tarver, and that's where you want to go with the rock. Meredith scores and the lead is back up to three. And a steal by Jorgensen. Driving the paint, kicks out, and breakdown in communication. Jorgensen looking to pass outside to Tarver. Tarver wasn't there. Lee 
Lee looking to take the lead. Right hand reverse, excuse me, one point game, 61-60. We're down to the three minute mark. Every possession is precious. Tarver loses the handle, able to kick it out to Jorgensen. She'll drive, little nice push shot off the baseline. Big basket for the sophomore out of Stockholm, Sweden. This is Roddy, three ball is good, we're tied. That was Aaron Walsh. Junior out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Jorgensen, kick out to Ratliff, three ball, no good. Lee can take the lead, it's been a long time. Great hands that time in transition by Meredith Tarver. Lee looking to inbound. Dan getting down to two minutes. We're tied at 63. Young Harris is in a man, 12 on the shot clock. Pick and roll. Ratliff giving up a lot of size and they knock down a three. It's a three point flame lead. 66-63. Brianna Bell. Young Harris with three second violation. 96 seconds. Timeout Lee, minute 27. Flames lead our mountain line, 66-63. Mountain line basketball, Ridgeline TV. All right, it's down to this. Young Harris has had a 10 point lead, but now we're the chasers. We're down by three, they've got the ball in the paint, and they're gonna be a traveling violation. Young Harris played it well defensively. Flames gonna go zone. Rat left, one, three, one. We got her trapped and we turn it over. The different look really gave us trouble. They score in transition. We're down by five. It's gonna be a hard comeback. Carver splits the defender, scores and is fouled. That was on Cornellison, it's her fifth. Tarver can bring us into one. This is the free throw, rebound comes out. Young Harris gotta have a stop here. We trail by three. Cannot allow Lee to score here. And they're going to get a foul, I believe, on Vernet. That's going to be the fifth. That's going to put them at the line to shoot two.
First free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Burnett with the board. We're going to get a quick timeout. 68-65. Timeout, Young Harris. 23.1 seconds. We'll be right back. Mountain Lion Basketball, YHCAthletic.com. Twenty-three point one seconds. Young Harris trailing by three. Right left will inbound. We'll get the ball in the hands of Jorgensen. Bell is your probably best three-point shooter out here. But here's Tarver. She's going to shoot the three. It's no good. But the rebound comes out to Jorgensen. She'll shoot the three. No good. Burnett with the board. Tarver three. No good. And Burnett fouls. Got some looks. Got some looks. Lindsey Roddy, the freshman out of Maryville. A lot of freshmen have played for Lee tonight. Their future's bright. Carver's fouled out. And that'll do it. That will do it. Five seconds left. It's a four point two possession game. Hits the second one. Coach Steersman going to get a timeout, but it's an uphill battle from here. Mountain Line Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Two possession game, Young Harris has got five seconds to pull off a miracle. We trail by five, we've led as many as 10. Right lift inbound. Get the ball into Jorgensen, any shot's a good shot. Now you gotta shoot the ball, golly. 70-65, Young Harris led most of the game. They led by 10 at one time but they will come up short on opening night. We will see you this Saturday when Young Harris's women on homecoming will take on Lees McCray and our men will take on Virginia State. Tommy Jenkins along with John C. Moon. Mountain Lion Basketball, whitecathletics.com, Channel 99, Ridgeline TV.